it is Halloween Eve. Hopefully I am through the most stressful parts of my visit to Toronto. I am back in the USSA <laughs> and I'm making a driving video talking about my experience crossing back into the USSA. And it was that I and it went as about as what I was kind of afraid of. I, I don't know if I would, you know, it could have been worse, I guess, but they were. Obviously, they treat everyone as being suspicious and unfucking fortunately because I'm unique, you know, they're gonna, but. But I hate getting treated, you know, but they treat everyone like that, unfucking fortunately. With the where you weirder you act, the more likely they are to be assholes. Though that's you know. So I'm back in my home. I'm back on home soil, <laughs> or if you have diarrhea and you're pissing and shitting, no, we Michigan Welcome Center. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there, and then after that. I got a map on the way, unless I want to get a naked map. <laughs> get a naked map in case I lost the Earth's map. Oh, God. On to Orinix to one. So, it's it. It was a lot easier. It still was easier getting to Canada. It took more time. It took, it took about two minutes to get into Canada. It took about a half hour to get into this country. I don't know where the Welcome Center is. And back off the metric system. Okay, where the fuck is the Welcome Center? If I don't see it, then I'm shit out of luck. It's not on a half mile, so... Well, if I can't find it... 200 Evanor miles, that means it is 200 Evanor miles through the um, Indiana State Line. And I'm planning on stopping in Kalamazoo, Michigan, which I believe is out of miles from, 80 miles from the Indiana State Line. And I'm stopping there. To, so, I think today will be easier than yesterday, now that I'm in the USSA. And plan to tentatively plan to go back, thinking about going back to Canada here on on I, but based on the experience and building a new light rail line in Toronto, it's supposed to be ready in Ontario. That's the same line, or the same year that the Green Line extension is supposed to be done in in uh, Murderapolis, going into Eden Prairie. I think that's the Welcome Center. So I will stop the video. I will make more videos while driving through Detroit. So I'm going through Detroit. Can't avoid it. But I'm on this side of the border, so I don't know. There, I had to deal with the feds. God, we'll see what they have, and but I, I think this, I don't know. By so by the time I probably get to where uh, stay for the night, Kalamazoo, tentatively Kalamazoo, it'll probably be. Not a lot of people here. So, probably take a piss, take some pictures, and uh, not very happy that Canada is over, but it is what it is. And I mean, I gotta make it at least to Kalamazoo if I wanna have a good time spending Halloween in the Chicago area. My fucking anxiety was rather fucking high worrying about getting across the border, so. You, you just, and it's, even if I get through with it this time, doesn't mean, it doesn't mean there won't be problems ne next time. It doesn't mean there won't be problems in on, on I when I go away. We're tentatively planning to go. I think up, um, Toronto and, not Toronto, but Montreal and Vancouver and Winnipeg, which is right over the Minnesota state line. So, I don't know when I'm going to go to Winnipeg. I think I want to go around Solstice next year. Probably not next year, but sometime. But, is when I get to hopefully be on my way before the end of the hour. It didn't get very fucking far. Well, it's, oh shit, it's almost 2 o'clock. Yeah, I don't know if I can even make it to that Ponderosa. 
before four o'clock so it's it's not gonna be the greatest time I'm gonna make and then the Kalamazoo beyond that oh god it said 200 Nebenor miles yeah that's so that's how much I have to go just to get into Indiana though I wonder if you said that saw that I have autism he wanted me to roll down the back window for some reason I don't know why I don't know if he was looking for drugs or or find see if anyone was smoking marijuana or something. I don't know. It's illegal in Canada, but you can't bring it in. Uh, you can't bring anything questionable in. But at least I'm in now. It's not. It's obviously it's it's mixed emotions being back in the USSA. But oh god. So, I want to make sure I save the battery to me. I'm going to make more videos. I may as well shut the power down. Well, eh, God. Yeah, when I get close to Detroit, I'm going to have to pull off the road. Because of all the fucking new laws on handheld devices and all that bullshit. So, I'm going to shut the, I'm going to shut the phone down as soon as this video is done. And I'm so glad I have Asperger's because I make the most interesting videos in the world. Nobody makes more interesting videos than I do. And my unique perspective of a very stupid planet.